हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ एन आई आर एस ऑफ क्लास सिक्स साइंस डे स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी वेर लर्निंग अबाउट द फ्लड्स ओके सो वाट हैपन्स इफ इट रेन्स हैविली एंड ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वाट हैपन्स इफ इट डज नॉट रेन फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो द लेवल ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर गोज ऑन डिक्रीजिंग इन द पॉन्ट्स एंड वेल्स देर इज नो अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द वाटर एंड कंप्लीटली दे मे ड्राई अप एंड द ग्राउंड वाटर मे बिकम लो एंड स्कैर्स सो दिस मे लीड टू ड्रॉट सो वैन ड्रॉट आकर्स द पीपल वुड नॉट गेट एनी काइंड ऑफ फूड ओके एनिमल्स एंड एनी थिंग सो देर इज अ वेरी बैड कंडीशन विच इज गोइंग टू टेक्स प्लेस सो दैट्स वाई वी नीड टू हैव अ बैलेंसड रेन ओके सो लास्ट कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ सो इन ऑर्डर टू मेंटेन द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ वॉटर इन द अर्थ ओके सो हाउ कैन वी कंजर्व द वॉटर येस सो कंजर्वेशन सो हाउ कैन वी कंजर्व द वॉटर सी so only a small fraction of water available on the earth which is fit for use of plants okay see here only the little amount of water is available on the earth so that will is only the amount of small amount of water which is fit for our usage okay for the crop for the uh, irrigation purpose of the plants and for drinking purpose of animals and humans okay so only small amount of water is fit but remaining all water is unfit because as it is salty in nature so most of the water in oceans and lakes oceans and the seas it cannot be used directly it should be reused okay so for it for that it takes more amount of costlier uh, processes okay so hence we cannot use the sea water by filtration so it can be cannot be used directly so when the level of the ground water decreases drastically due to the um, the drought conditions okay when the level of the ground water decreases so drastically means very fast in less period of time so this cannot be used anymore that that process cannot be used anymore okay so total amount of water on earth remains the same okay so there is no your operation and for and uh, uh, the water gets converted into a vapor and converted in and reaches the clouds and clouds are formed again they fall down as a rain so this the uh, uh, rotation of the uh, water takes place normally but the, there is no evaporation there is no condensation to form a rain hence the total amount of water on the earth remains the same so but the water available for us for our use is very limited okay whatever the water available for our day to day use is very much limited very less so it is decreasing also day by day with over usage we are using over usage okay so the demand for the water is increasing day by day so because the population is increasing every day so hence the demand for water is also increasing day by day so the number of people which are use, who are using the water is increasing with the rising population see the number of people who are increasing using the water is increasing every day as there is a rise rise in population because as the population increases the requirement of the water is also increasing so in many cities there will be long queues for collection of water so they will have a long queue for collecting the water so which is a common sight which can be easily seen commonly look at the figure 14.12 where you can see the queue for collecting water so the buckets okay pots are kept it is in queue so more and more water is being used for production producing the food see the production for the uh, no production of the food is nothing but for irrigation purpose of the crops we must use the method in which through which we can uh, no reduce the wastage of the water by such as drip irrigation sprinkler system so we should not use at a uh, at whole okay so more and more water is being used for production of the food purpose and by the industries hence these factors are leading to the one more condition that is shortage of the water in many parts of the world shortage of the water is taking place hence it is very very important for that water which is used carefully so we must not we must take care not to waste the water we must take care that the water cannot be wasted okay so hence what you need to do in order to maintain the uh, waste of water no, not to get wasted and use it properly okay there is a method called rain water harvesting so what's this rain water harvesting let's see here so one of the way to increase the availability of the ground water okay is to collect the rain water whenever it rains we need to collect the rain water and we have to store it for later use so now it is rainy season suppose monsoon season so it rains continuously for 3 4 months so what at this time what you need to do we have to collect that rain water and we have to store it okay in tanks 
for later use so once the winter season over and uh, and over and once the summer season starts we fall short of water okay at that time we can use it or not yes so this collecting rainwater in this way in this manner is called rainwater harvesting so the basic idea behind the rainwater harvesting is catch water where it falls so the basic idea is simple you have to catch the water where it falls so when the water is not falling i mean when there is no rain at that time you cannot catch the water so you have to catch the water when it rains okay when it falls means during a monsoon season so what happens to the rain uh, rain water that falls in the places that are mostly covered with concrete roads and buildings see so there will be some places where rain water uh, falls in some places where okay so and which is completely covered with the concrete roads and buildings at that at place how are you going to collect the water so it flows into the drains okay drains through the drains it flows and finally reaches the sources of water so from there that water goes and reaches the river and lakes which could be very far away so a lot of effort will be waste then be taken will be required okay in order to get this water back to the uh, pure condition into our homes okay so as the water did not seep into the ground here what happens here water is not seeping into the ground so it is going to mixed with the drains and it is reaching the source of water uh, like uh, rivers and lakes and again to bring back that water from the rivers and lakes we must uh, spend a lot of efforts because it should be treated well okay so hence what we need to do is so we have to discuss see we have to think about the some of the techniques what are those see so there are two techniques of rainwater harvesting how can you protect the rainwater how can you preserve the rainwater is there are two methods one is rooftop harvesting so this is very very important look at the figure 14.13 so where the arrangement of rooftop harvesting is given so what is that see in this system the rainwater is collected from the rooftop so in this system what happens the rainwater is collected from the rooftop okay it is collected from the rooftop to a storage tank so from the rooftop it should be collected to the storage tank okay through the pipes through the pipes the rainwater is collected through the roof, rooftop to a storage tank we have to collect it in a storage tank here look at the diagram here you can see from the rooftop water is collected see through the help of pipes see like this see it is stored in a storage tank here it is shown in the diagram okay so this water may contain soil from the roof see whatever the water falls in the air so that may see when it is flowing it may contain the soil okay when it is flowing from the rooftop okay so we it may contain soil the soil particles in it so from the water when it is moving from the roof and that need filtering okay that water needs to be this water needs to be filtered because it is containing soil particles okay so before we use it so instead of collecting the rainwater in the tank instead of collecting that rainwater in the tank what you need to do is so the pipes can go directly into a pit into the ground okay so those pipes should go directly into the pit only so directly they should fall the pipes should be connected to the directly to the pit only okay so in the ground itself so then this water is seeps into the soil to recharge okay so then this ground water happens so what happens here so then this that water seeps into the soil only so it gets absorbed in the soil itself to recharge or refill the ground water see when the water seeps into the ground what happens here the ground water gets recharged the all the amount of water is collected here so that is the process here so the water seeps into the ground hence the our earth is recharged i mean groundwater is recharged or refilled okay so look at the figure 14.3 that has explained the rooftop harvesting and the last point is another option is to allow water to go into the ground so we have to allow the water to go into the ground okay directly from the roadside drains that collect rainwater from the rain, rain you no know, roadside grain drains it should directly grow you know fall into the okay so you, uh, you have to allow the water to go into the ground only so so that uh, directly from the roadside drains because it will reaches the ground water and that increases the ground water so that collects the rain water okay that can be used by you in the later time okay so dear students by this we have completed the lesson water so let me uh, stop here and you have to write down the notes on this process that is rainwater harvesting or what happens if it rains heavily what happens if it does not rain at all and what is the best methods of conservation of water so all these things you have to remember and make a note of this and tomorrow let me start with the exercise part of this lesson thank you and have a nice day